what a week this was. The first big test of the Republican House majority will be over the debt limit, now that McConnell has surrendered the normal leverage they'd have over spending bills. The Republican majority is considering making a stand against raising the debt limit. But hey, we've been down this road a couple of times before. It always ends with loud cries in the media forecasting an end to American credit, huge hikes in interest rates, and the dethroning of the dollar as the global currency. Then the Republican congressmen always flake and the debt limit is raised and spending continues with no restraint. To make this time different, the Republicans need a better place to stand on raising the debt limit other than a simple no. They might raise it in return for a trillion dollar spending cut or they might agree to raise it by a dollar for each dollar cut in federal spending. Conservative think tanks need to get busy formulating a position. A simple no opposing any increase in the debt limit won't just work. Now for my favorite segment, you can't make this up. The UK is about to make wolf whistling or catcalling illegal and punish it with a two year sentence. The new restrictions, which will come into effect next year, will criminalize public behaviors or gestures that are already deemed to be intentionally made to alarm, distress, or harass someone based on their sex. Sexual harassment per se is already illegal, and this new law would just add on new penalties. UK Home Secretary Suella Braverman said every woman should feel safe to walk our streets. She said, we're putting the needs of victims at the heart of our decision, which will mean the criminals who wolf whistle will face consequences they deserve. The Daily Mail reports once passed, the legislation would criminalize intentionally walking closely behind someone, making obscene or offensive gestures or comments toward a person obstructing a person's path or driving a motor vehicle slowly beside them as they walk home. A YouGov survey found that 62% of women in Britain have experienced catcalling or wolf whistling, and 43% report being subject to unwelcome touching or groping. Over a quarter of women report having been subject to indecent exposure. Like I said, you can't make this up. That's my show for this week. If you like hearing my take on things, I do a daily video, The Lunch Alert that I email out to my 250,000 subscribers. Go to dickmorris.com and sign up for free. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.